All right, example one, in setting up his latest wiring job, an electrician cut the following lengths of wire, 387, 913, 76, 2,640, and 845 feet. Okay, and the fact that it says feet on that one implies to me everything is feet, all right? Find the total length of wire used. So, the key word in, this, in the request is the word total. Word total. The total length of wire used. Anytime you total something, you're adding it up. So, we have all these wire lengths here. I'm going to do 387. 387, 913. 76, 2,640, 845. Okay, notice as I wrote those, they're all whole numbers. So I made sure the units digits all lined up. So we have a units column, a tens column, a hundreds column, and a thousands column. And we're just going to add straight down the units column, carry if necessary. So 7 plus 3 is 10, plus 6 is 16, 0 doesn't count, plus 5 is 21. So that's one, carry the two. Two plus eight is 10, 11, 18, 22, 26, that's six, carry the two. Two and three is five and nine is 14, and six is 20 and eight is 28, carry the two. Two plus two is four, so we end up at 4,861 feet. Now, officially you're supposed to have a comma after the four. If you write it without the comma, we're gonna have it wrong. But um, the whole point of the commas is to, to group things in hundreds. So you have the hundreds group, you have the thousands group, you have the millions group. So it's like 861, and then let's say, I don't know, let's say I have some ginormous number like. Right. So this is the millions group, this is the thousands group, this is the hundreds group. So, or this is the units group, so 944, right? This is 213,000, this is 845 million. So the commas are just kind of to make everything go between one and a thousand. So 845 million, 213,944. So that's what the commas are for. But again, if you wrote this answer and didn't have the comma on it, I know what you're talking about. So that's fine. I don't feel obligated to use the comma. 